briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 2009, the United States Court of Appeals for the Third Circuit heard the case Jean-Louis v. Attorney General of the United States, which considered if only the record of conviction should be used to determine if a crime is a CIMT in removal proceedings. The case involved Lionel Jean-Louis, a Haitian citizen and lawful permanent resident of the United States, who was facing removal after being charged with simple assault against a child under 12 years of age. The court needed to determine if the act was a crime involving moral turpitude, CIMT, and warranted cancellation of removal. Using a modified categorical approach, it concluded that jean Louis's conduct was not a CIMT, making him eligible for cancellation of removal. The court rejected the individualized inquiry approach in removal proceedings, instead favoring fixed standards for efficient administration of immigration laws. As a result, the Attorney General's interpretation of the INA was held invalid. The court ultimately decided that Jean-Louis was not convicted of a CIMT, sending the case back to the BIA for further review. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law, elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.